recommended. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Cool. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I spend my birthday week off-grid in the middle of Joshua Tree. Here we live out my birthday cake for breakfast dreams. Oh, I just burnt my hair. Go on some epic gravel bike rides. Woo! Good boy. Do a ton of climbing, which is something the area is best known for. We even facilitate a campground movie night. It was an absolute blast. And we leave off our adventures ready to continue east. We are going to head to warmer weather, warmer weather, Phoenix. Let's go. This adventure started with what felt like a very long drive day, making our first stop in Quartzite for an afternoon truck stop shower. I'm getting all my shower stuff. And when I go into my shower, I always pack all my valuables. Camper my computer, and my shower stuff. Oh, and shower shoes, because I just got new ones. You are a valuable asset. Two hours later, it was finally our turn to shower. Oh my God, this one is nice. Look at this thing. So much room for activities. Do we think that weight was worth it, Camp? I do. That is worth it every time. And this time, I waited two hours. Not even mad about it. Just in time for the sun to set. All right, camp. Let's go find a camp spot. No pun intended. One of the things this area is best known for is their dispersed camping. So we went off into the desert to find an amazing spot. All right, let's see what we can find here. That's it. Hi, camp. One sec. Oh, God. It's like a booby trap. Oh, nothing fell. Nice. Weather is perfect. A lot of you guys have asked, these are new window covers. I do have window covers that I custom made with Reflectix, but I found that the insulation wasn't doing enough and just taking up space for it. So I kept the back window the same Reflectix one, but I got this fabric. It's black on one side, a reflective material on the other side. I have magnets that go along it and inside this seam, and I just magnet them onto my windows, uh, but it does not work for the back or the front. Like a glove. As all usual evenings go, we ate, brushed our teeth, got ready for bed, and got a good night's sleep. Night, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, quartzite dwellers. I'm gonna get out of here? Me too, let's go outside. Oh God, we're out of water. We can't make coffee, we're out of water, shoot. So I set up the car for the day, shook out and laid out the top sheet that keeps everything clean, fed camper and changed. Then it was time to explore. We slept in quartzite last night and this may be the RV slash boondocking capital of the world. Uh, you will see them everywhere. Although this desert community only supports a few thousand permanent residents, this could be home to hundreds of thousands of RVers, van lifers, vendors, and nomads alike all year round. And there's a ton to do here, so we're gonna show you. First stop is the world famous Gem and Rock Show. Quartzsite is known for many things, but one of them is in January and February. Huge crowds come in just to view and even purchase some of these rare and precious gems. It is quite incredible. I used to collect rocks when I was growing up. These are amazing. And quite hard to resist. You could literally spend all day here, but we have a ton on today's adventure menu. So we're moving on. All right, where are we going next? Maybe the RV show? Okay. What if we go hike Palm Canyon? That's really up our alley. Let's start with the hike. 
Wow, there are boondoggers literally everywhere. Hello, son. To your left, to your right, in front of you, behind you, they're freaking everywhere. Hello. Yes. Oh yeah. Gotta love dirt roads, baby. After around 30 to 40 minutes, we finally made it to the trailhead for Palm Canyon. So normally when I'm driving, I'll either be charging up my refrigerator battery or my Jackery portable power station. And the past two days, I accidentally forgot to switch those out. Uh, Should have put the Jackery into the carport. That's usually how I charge it. So we want to charge that up because I'm not sure how much driving we're going to be doing the next few days. So today, well, I'm prepared to be mind blown when I figured this out. My whole life changed. Uh, while we're hiking, I am going to go ahead and take the foldable solar panels and I'm going to put them right in the dash in the sunlight. So that way, while Camper and I are hiking, we can be charging up as fast as possible and I can still lock the car and not worry about all my valuables. And that is one of them. That is my favorite thing about this product. It is the solar capabilities and being able to have power anywhere that there is sunlight. Thank you, Jackery, for sponsoring this video. If you would like one, please use the link in my description as that really helps out Camper and I. All right, you ready? Let's get hiking. Your stick. All right, let's go with the stick. Yeah. This trail is a short one, just about a half a mile, but it is no short of beautiful scenery. Look at this, all around us. This is pretty amazing. So happy I got to share it with you guys. Look at those massive walls. All right, we found the palms right up there. Uh, I think we're going to keep going. It looks like there's a little faint trail and see what else we can find in the canyon. All right, camp, let's go. Cool. I think we made it to the end. Wow. This is beautiful. All right, let's go back down. Come on, camp. That was fun. All right, next adventure. Maybe some petroglyphs and history. I think yes. Home sweet Prius. But first, lunch and hydrate. You ready for the next adventure? All right, I just asked the guys at the BLM Visitor Center how to get to the Tyson Wash Petroglyphs because it's a little tricky to find and they gave me super clear directions, so I'm very excited about this. So is Camper. Oh boy. Is this stupid? Maybe. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well shoot, let's see what we can find. The only issue is I'm not really sure where we're going. This is just a very educated guess, so. We just kept walking, and then at the point of almost feeling defeated. I don't know, this guy said go up 139. Oh, petroglyphs, wow. We got our first sight of petroglyphs here. Very cool. Oh, looks like there's a little cave too. Check this out. Camper, what do you say? You wanna go in? All right, looks like that's the end. Hmm. Pretty cool. Let's go camp. What? Oh, wow. wow, look at that. There's so many more in the area too. <laughs> you will see a ton of off-road vehicles around here uh, and not a ton of Priuses. <laughs> All right, there should be grinding hole somewhere over here. It's supposed to be about 100 yards this way. I think maybe I went a little too far. Um, you know, let's maybe try up this road here. Up this mound, maybe. Where are we looking? Where are these grind holes? Huh. 
Looking for these Native American grind holes got us pretty stumped. Well, we couldn't find it, so we got some friends who were gonna help us. I love it. Is it this close and I have no idea? Don't tell me it's right here. You guys rock. Oh my goodness. You're there. Thank you, what's your name? Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. <gasps> Camper, you found the grinding holes. Native Americans used to grind down things such as seeds and corn here, eventually wearing down the rocks in this unique way. <laughs> Would you like a beer? Uh, sure. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, amazing. I don't want you to get parched out here. Yeah, Me either. You know you're in the desert. Thanks, guys. Camper and I had an absolute blast getting to know all of our new friends. Hi, Phil and Diane. Hi, Cal here. Uh, see that little Prius over there? I was like, ah. We were just as surprised we made it. On that note, it was time to head back. <laughs> Bye guys, it was really right, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> that was so much fun. Okay, now we are gonna go just hike around for an hour and take the Prius to get a shower and find a place to sleep. Not recommended. I definitely hit something very hard on the bottom of my car. Think it's okay? It's the end of the day. You're crazy, lady. As many of our greatest adventures, we ended the day at the truck stop for a shower. Camper's getting one today, too. Look who's so clean. You're a little wet. You're a little wet. Now that we're clean, it's time to find a place to sleep. Yep, this works. Not too many people. Oh God, I was so hungry I forgot to film what I ate. I had a salad. Surprise. And the sun is setting. Time to set up the car. My car is nasty. I'm putting on these strings. After some work, a sunset viewing, brushing our teeth and prepping of the car, it was finally time to go to bed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Okay. <laughs> Take two.